Good morning, Way Academy. Welcome back. It's Wednesday, April 22nd. We are here with our staying connected announcement. Thank you to those of you who reached out, sent a picture, said hello, a positive message. Let's take a look at some of the things that came in. As you can tell, this is a re, um, I guess a rewind back to our first attempt to reach out to you kids. Just a reminder, we miss you. Dear students, please know that your teachers are not enjoying this time away from the classroom. We think about you. We hope you are safe and healthy. We miss your stories. We miss your jokes. We miss your energy, your smiles. We just miss our classroom without the energy that you bring. Working from home just isn't the same. Remember, your teachers love you and we miss you. Um, here's a screenshot. We're just gonna try and get, there we go. Here's a screenshot of Miss Shelley's extended family participating in their first ever Zoom meeting. And as you know, we all have to try and stay connected. And here's Miss Susan's daughter sending her teacher a picture of how proud she is. So you can see she's practicing her cursive writing. She practices every day and wanted to connect with her teacher to show her progress. Ah, some of our middle schoolers, some of you may know Annalisa, Mackenzie, and Mayella. They were kind enough to show an example of staying connected through Zoom group chat. And here's Mr. D'Angelo. Not a lot of you have had the uh, privilege of meeting him yet, but Mr. D'Angelo is our dropout prevention coordinator. He's a new part of the WAY team. And he was kind enough to send in a picture of his first Zoom meeting with his fraternity brothers. And rumor has it they may be part of a mentoring program as we move forward. So the world may seem to have halted, but it's important to remember that service and connection does not stop. And Mr. D'Angelo is a great example of how that is going to happen for Way. Uh, it may be tough to read, but this is an example of a screenshot of just a quick message Miss Susan sent to brighten my day. She sent a message on Hero after working with a student. She let me know about their success. So again, as you can see by the caption, celebrating the student's success. And she was kind enough to tell me about the impact a postcard I'd sent home. Um, apparently that student was really happy and felt uh, special that day. So that was really nice to hear from a teacher and to know that those little things we do to try and reach our students really do reach them. We may not hear from them, but we're glad that our messages are getting to you. Speaking of postcards, you have mail. Some of you may recognize these little graphics. You can see the pile of letters before they went out, but I want to talk about how much I miss you. I'm just <coughs> popping by to say, hey, that I miss you. As you can see, doggone it, I sure do miss you. And one of my favorites, that Lama one. Let me just tell you, my day isn't the same without you. All right, so keep an eye on the mail if you haven't already got yours. Know that Miss Lambert's or Miss Siobhan's special um, postcards are there to say hello. Speaking of saying hello, another way to stay connected with the world in general is sending out those kind words. And some of you may have seen the sidewalk art and the positive messages for um, um, you know, doctors, nurses, those first line workers, as they're calling. But don't forget, we also have delivery people that bring us our mail, our special packages, our, our supplies to keep businesses running. So these are just an example of kind words spotted in Genesee County. Again, showing appreciation for others is a great way to stay connected. Miss Susan had another unique way to stay connected. Some of you were fortunate enough to tune in Friday to see her video about making candy. So she was reaching out in her, uh, to our way family in yet another effort to stay connected. Connection through chocolate. I think I like that one. Now, Miss Shelley even went to outer space in an effort to stay connected. Totally out of this world. Another example of someone traveling away, our superintendent was keeping way staff connected through a Zoom meeting, but playing with those clever backgrounds. Some of you may have um, been paying attention to my virtual announcements each day where I tried to have a unique location that very first week. Well, here's our superintendent doing the very same thing, staying connected. And as we know, a lot of time on the computer can take a strain on our eyes. Here's Miss Susan at work, looking cool, staving off the computer light, whatever it takes to stay connected. 
Here's another example, Ms. Siobhan's attempts to connect with our WAY researchers. These are some of the vocabulary video lessons out there. Links were sent directly to your HERO mail, but you'll also see them with the HERO projects. So make sure to take advantage of all of them. And you'll see just in the corner here, I'll teach you in a room. I'll teach you on a Zoom. I'll teach you at your house. Well, maybe when the quarantine lifts, but I'll teach you with a mouse. I'll teach you here and there. I'll teach you because I care. Just do your very best. Don't worry about the rest, just try. There's another one coming up. All right, here's a little longer one. Um, as we know, sometimes being apart from family um, also leads to distances during special events or occasions. Here's a picture of Miss Siobhan, my youngest granddaughter. Her birthday was a couple weeks ago, and although it was tough to be there uh, with her, I know that um, those pictures show that she was able to still smile despite not everyone being able to be together. And I'm wondering how many of you have had to celebrate a birthday or special occasion in quarantine? Love to see a picture. So send us a picture or video. Perhaps it can even be used in a future announcement. We can celebrate together that way. Speaking of birthdays, I mentioned to you the other day, Monday was mine. Despite being separated, the Waste staff family stayed connected to celebrate my birthday. They had my favorite lunch delivered home. Now that made me feel really special. And uh, as we're getting to the end here, I just want to remind you of a few key things. These last couple slides are just be kind to one another, say a word or two of encouragement. You never know who may need those gentle reminders more than anything. It could be today, could be any day, but kindness is the key to connection. So reach out, you're fine. The three important reminders I want to leave you with, you matter, you are loved, everything will be okay. And final one, staying connected. Know that you are missed. Be sure to reach out to your WAVE family, even if it's just to say hello. If you have questions, we're all available for you. If you need some help with some emotional support and you just want to vent, maybe you're just really frustrated, just reach out to us, guys. We're still here. And for those of you wanting to work ahead, remember this is also a great time not just to stay connected but to move even forward in your own progress for your own journey so thanks for tuning in have a wonderful day make it a great wednesday guys we'll see you again next time